Welcome to PLM and Vinyl, the webcast for everyone interested in SAP PLM and surrounding topics. In our show, you will see and hear the latest updates from SAP, Senate and our partner products, along with some customer interviews. And now meet your hosts, Paul Cassidy and Sascha Schwenker. Welcome to the next PLM and Vinyl video session. Our last one was so outrageously successful that we had to do another one. Right. This is the show where we try and interweave tenuously mm -hmm. our love for rock and roll, vinyl, music, with our other passion, product lifecycle management, mm -hmm. tenuously. Uh, that said, Sasha, what, what did you bring along today? Actually, I, I could show you the stones right now, but I have something way better. Um, I picked up yesterday at the local record store. Mm. Uh, well, what are you doing there, Nothing. Uh, Miami Wise Part 2. And uh, actually, there's a story to this. I bought a couple of weeks ago the first part of it. Great ones, Phil Collins, all the cool songs. But I was missing one, and I was missing Crockett's theme. So yesterday, when I was in the same record store again, I saw this one, bought it just for the one song. Sounds great. Still Sasha, don't. there is no shame in that. No, no shame no, no. whatsoever. And ne next time we get to the serious stuff again, but today was Miami Wise, second part. I love it. One song, Crockett's theme. Right, well, let's try and get the show back on the road then. Yes, okay. Engineering Control Center oh, is our... What is this? Yes. Oh, okay, no, Engineering Control Center, all right. It's the PLM portion of today, which oh. will save us from talking about Miami Vice. Um, so what's, what's the big takeaway with Engineering Control Center? So Engineering Control Center is SAP's way of integrating the CAD systems, CAD systems into SAP. So, uh, and these are MCAT system like CATIA, NX, SolidWorks, Solid Edge, ProE, all the MCAT systems, as well as uh, just lately all the ECAT systems like Cadence, Mentor, etc. But, and that's very interesting, also other systems like Word, PowerPoint, Excel. Um, so you can integrate them seamlessly into SAP and basically Engineering Control Center is the glue between the CAD systems and the SAP system. So the normal engineer, they work only inside Engineering Control Center. They would never log on to SAP, even though they are inside SAP by logging on to Engineering Control Center. Cool. All right. Will we do it? We will show it to you right away. Okay. So let's look at Engineering Control Center. This is it. Uh, again, I'm connected to SAP at this time. So before I open it, the system asked me either via single sign-on or via password to connect uh, to SAP. And I'm really connected into SAP. So what you see here, all the metadata is inside my SAP ECC or HANA system. Um, what you see here is my desktop, you see last use documents, some queries I can set up, a smart list, object list, and you see here also some personal and public folders. And actually the majority of our customers are really working with these personal and these public folders. So for example, in my personal folder, I have uh, here my different projects I'm currently working on, and I can drill down all the way to the latest level, and this is the level where I see all my documents. So what information do I see here? And let me just down, go down to an assembly here. You see this is my Lego Digger assembly. Uh, what information do I see here? I see information that this is currently available. It's in a certain status. It's the latest version. You see here this traffic light. light. This means it's, they are all green here in this case. Uh, they could be yellow or red, but in this case green means it's the latest version. Uh, this one has a material master attached, and this one has also a drawing as a uh, dependent document. So with one view, I see a lot of information here. Uh, if I want to get even more information, I can open this up and see all the details about some stuff I see here in the icon list already. So dependent documents, I see that there is a drawing. I see also that this drawing is currently checked out by somebody here. Uh, on linked documents or linked objects, I see that there is a material master linked to this. I see that this one has already 
four different versions, or I'm in the fourth version, so three other different, or four other different versions. Um, I see here sequence of sources, so that means this was generated from some, uh, some other documents. I see the originals inside SAP. We talk original meaning the different files. So I see that there is a visual enterprise file, some other items here, and so on and so on and so on. I can see the components actually from this assembly uh, and see this is the next level. Oh, if you start them up, do, 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 he never stops. Mm -hmm. And uh, what can I do as well with this stuff? Uh, I can take this one and move this to my assembly browser. Inside the assembly browser, I can see now the complete assembly. Actually, I see a one-to-one -one representation of what I would see inside my CAD system. So if I want to say some or see some other information, you see here on the uh, on this side, the object browser is already open. So whenever I'm flipping to one of these objects, the object browser is giving me in detail information about this one object. Again, this information is coming straight out of SAP. So what you see here is basic data like who's the user, what's the current status, you see here, this document has a different icon than this one document because this is already released. This one is still in work, so you see the different icon color, which indicates that they are in different status here. Uh, you see the CAD system here. Um, again, in the intro I said already, we, have, we can integrate several CAD systems. In our case, we use CATIA here. We see the material master connected. We see that this is part of a change master right now, and so on and so on. I could see customer information, classification information, and so on and so on. So basically, this is the cockpit for the CAT engineer uh, to do his normal check-in, check-out work. If I want to see some more, if I want to get an impression about this, I could just see this in the Visual Enterprise Viewer here. And this gives me a 3D impression of this one model. I can also furthermore interrogate this model. So for example, I can run a section plane around this. I could tear it apart and so on and so on. I could do some measurements if I want. So I can do some, I would say, some lightweight DMU analytics based on this 3D visual enterprise model. So and then it would come the time where I say, okay, now I would like to really open this in my CAD system. And to open this in the CAD system, I can just say here and say, I would like to open the original, or if I have the authority, uh, I can open this for edit. And this is basically how it looks like inside my CAD systems. And from this point on, it's slightly, but only slightly different depending on the different CAD system. So uh, CATIA has this menu bar here, and X has a ribbon, SolidWorks has an something other ones. The functionalities we have here are, again, completely the same, but how are they integrated in the CAD system? It's really dependent on the different CAD systems. So what can I see here inside uh, CATIA, for example? I see the document number, the document type, uh, version, part information, and the description. This is completely configurable. Uh, if I say I don't care about the number here so much, I just show maybe even the version, the description, or some other information. What information and what functionalities do I have here? Um, I can go back to Engineering Control Center and do the normal interaction. So here I could request to lock it. That means I could check it out. Here I can save it, check it back in. I have the functionalities to create new versions. Uh, import the document, create a copy, and so on and so on and so on. So this is basically the information, the integration directly into the system, into the SAP system from the, from the CAT environment. So when I'm done with my work, let's assume that I did the biggest change here, uh, I would check it back into the SAP system and come back here. I would see the change results here. And this is basically how, how I work with the engineering control center. In another interesting part here is, uh, even though this is really purely for the CAT engineer, um, at least in this application with a CAT uh, system, I have also the ability to do the same thing on Word documents, Excel documents, etc. Uh, and I can also 
and this is just a site application here. I can also have a look directly into the BOM information. So for example, I have here linked object. I just drag and drop this over. And this is a, a BOM browser where I see this is my engineering BOM. You, you remember it's, uh, usage 2 for engineering. So this is my engineering BOM. And you see here, I see right away in the same browser also my plant specific BOM in plant 3000 here. And this is how the BOM looks like in, in my plan 3000. So I have not just the engineering data, I have also planned data, planned independent data here inside this browser. Oops. That's a very quick overview about mm -hmm. Engineering Control Center. Um, if you want to see more, just give us a call and we, we can show you more. Great, and I think we got through it without really mentioning Miami Vice, which I think is a win-win for everybody. I tell you, Crockett theme, best song in the world, at least on this record. That I can believe. Right, well, thank you very much, everybody. Thank you, Sasha, and uh, see you next time around. Thank you.